So I have another Job Smart flashlight from Tractor Supply Company. This one is the 3000 lumen rated, 590 foot, up to 2 hour run time. This is the 1433798 model, rechargeable focus flashlight, satisfaction guaranteed. So 3000 lumens, 590 long beam, 2 hour run time. Once again, 3,000, 590, 2 hour, and we have the Sensormatic NSA tracking tag on the back of it in case you want to walk out the store without actually paying for it. And there's the UPC made in China tractor supply. I've already charged the batteries in this, so I thought I'd give it some runtime test. So it says includes two 2600 milliamp hour lithium batteries, one USB charging cable, and one charging base. Construction, aluminum housing. So here are the two batteries. ICR 18650 2600 mAh 3.7 volts 9.62 watt hours per battery So we'll put the batteries in it We'll put the cover back on it High low high low so it does provide a pretty good beam of light, but I've, I've used this for a few days now. And I just charged the batteries back up, and I've noticed something interesting about this. When you turn the unit on, on the high mode, it doesn't actually come into the full lumen output for about close to a minute. So I'll get my light meter and a stopwatch out, and we'll go ahead and show you that. I'm going to start the light and the stopwatch at approximately the same time, and I want you to watch the light output as the time increases. So it starts up just shy of 400 and then it starts to increase at about 23 seconds goes up to about 1200 actually about 1400 goes up to about 1400 So it's full output right now, and then it's going to start backing down. And it holds at 2 minutes, just under 150. So let's go ahead and put this in the time lapse mode now and see how long the battery lasts on high. And then I'll recharge the batteries, measure the current input, the total number of watt hours, the milliamp hours charged, and then we'll try it on low. Okay, so we did the high mode time test. Now we'll do the low mode time test. And I'm going to time lapse it and we'll see how we do on exclusively low.
So in the high mode continuous, we got just shy of two hours and 40 minutes. On the low mode continuous, we got just shy of four hours and 40 minutes. So 238 on high, 436 on low. When the light is on, it has this red ring right here, which kind of distracts you. If you're pointing this away from you and you're looking at a dimly lit object in the distance, this bright light can kind of blind you. So I might take some tape and wrap around it right there. I thought I would do some current monitoring of this flashlight. Now, this flashlight has just a simple switch here. There's no electronics in here like the single cell flashlight. And I'll show you that when I turn the unit on one click and go ahead and measure ohms here. And we can see we have 0.5 ohms. If I short the leads together, we have 0.3. So there's two tenths of an ohm drop across here. Off. Absolutely open. On. 0.5. So if I clicked it, from like, let's say high to low. So that's high, off, low. We still read the same, eh, 0 0.4, 0 0.5 ohms, 0.3. So that just shows me that this is just a simple switch. There's no electronics in this unit. So let's go ahead and do some current monitoring on this flashlight. So I went ahead and just attach a couple simple leads here. I just used some tape to wrap the negative lead up against the aluminum thread here and then some other tape just to keep the positive lead fixed to the negative lead of the second battery. So I've got my test leads right here so if I just simply short them out the light should come on high and if I release them and reshort them it should go to low. High, low. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in the digital meter and we'll just watch the current draw as time elapses. Okay, so I have my flashlight set up right here. I have my ancient analog light meter set up here. I also have a stopwatch and I have my Fluke 117 set to the amp mode. And it's in the 6 amp range right now. And so because the light output of this flashlight is so bright that once I go ahead and actually turn the flashlight on, you can barely see the stopwatch or the amp meter whatsoever. So that was on high. Let's go ahead and put it back on low and then the next time it'll be on high again. So what I've got right here is a piece of my egg carton that I use when I'm separating screws servicing a unit. So I put the screws in each separate compartment. So I'm just going to go ahead and set this over the flashlight so it doesn't blind the camera. Next I'll go ahead and plug in the lead and start the stopwatch much at the same time. We'll do this all in real time. So it starts out at 2.68 amps. You can see the current is decreasing as the battery charge is beginning to get slightly depleted. Now these are fully charged batteries. I just took them off the charger a few minutes ago. So it's going to come down and then there it starts ramping back up at about 25 seconds. Wow, really hard to see the stopwatch now the light is so bright. So we're up to 5.2 amps. 5.26. And again the batteries are being depleted. Now it's going to start ramping down and you can see it ramps down about one step every second or so. So let's just see how far down it goes. 4.4 amps. Continuing to decrease 4.2, 4 4.1. So according to the meter, we're right at a light value of 403 amps.
still continuing to decrease. Okay, there I think we're at the bottom. 1.1 amps, effectively. So next, I'll go ahead and unplug this lead and plug it back in, and it will default to the low mode, just as if I clicked it off and back on. So I'm going to unplug it. I'm going to reset the stopwatch. And then as I replug it in, I will restart the stopwatch. And we'll see what it does on low now. So it starts at 1.33 amps. There it goes, right at 40 seconds it started to drop. So it's going into its power saving strategy. I don't know if they do this, so maybe you won't notice Is it's slowly decreasing. And there it looks like it's done, just over 50 seconds and we're down to 815 milliamps. So I was getting ready to do my follow up video on this flashlight, so I went ahead and charged it. Came back the next day and went to unplug it and it actually had melted a little bit of the USB, the micro USB plug, so it wouldn't unplug. Now for anybody else, this would probably be a deal breaker, but for me, I just go ahead and hardwire the cord into the charger. So I ended up just go ahead and uh, cut this off of the cord. I pulled the micro USB receptacle off of the circuit board. It's only a two pin, no programming resistors on there and then I just went ahead and soldered the cord directly directly into the charger so I can go ahead and still charge it no problem alright so I really don't know what to say about this flashlight I've been using it for a couple of weeks now it seems pretty good I did end up putting a piece of tape over that red ring because when you're out there in the dark it is just so annoying um, I'd probably give it a five star review if it hadn't have been for the charger breaking so let's talk about the wacky output this thing has. Uh, on high, it starts out at a nominal bright output, and then it ramps itself up, what was it, 26 seconds later, and stays there for a few seconds, and ramps down to an almost medium stage. And of course, the medium uh, starts at one level and then ramps down after that. So uh, did the same thing with the one-cell lithium-ion rechargeable flashlight. I remember it, it did the same thing. Uh, probably got to give it three stars. It's a pretty good flashlight. I've really enjoyed using it, and it does have a nice bright beam even before it ramps up to full brightness. And then there's the other thing I wanted to talk about was if you leave this on, the battery's jiggled it, it continues to flash as they come back up to voltage, which is going to happen with all batteries. If you watch the video, I did time-lapse the discharges, and then I did show the flashes that I recorded. I, I stopped recording after a certain amount of time, obviously. But uh, that's very interesting. If you leave it on, it'll kind of pulse to remind you it's on, maybe. I don't, I don't think that was intentional when they designed it, but that's just the way it came out. I certainly do hope you enjoyed this video on the JobSmart 2 lithium-ion rechargeable flashlight from Tractor Supply Company. If you did, go ahead and consider subscribing to my channel and liking this video. It really helps my channel grow. Remember, you can contact me on social media, on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at NorCal715, or email me, NorCal715videos at gmail.com. Remember, with your help, we can keep these things out of the landfill, out of the recycle bin, and out of the e-waste facility. Once again, everybody, thanks for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Have a great day. Bye-bye.